Good evening, everybody from London Town. It's Simon Hinton here, and I hope you're all well. Okay, I thought I'd make a brief video this evening just to give you a heads up on my Ascension event that is occurring at 6.45 p.m. on Monday, Solstice Day, Saturn, Jupiter, Conjunct Day, December the 21st. Hello, Margaret Armitage, nice to see you, and a few others that are coming on now. I just wanted to say to you all, okay, I've updated the ticket information um, because I wanted to share with you a little bit about what we're aiming to achieve, okay? We are gonna lay the foundations for everybody who wants to, to let go of all their attachments to people, places, outcomes, and things and to move into a new way of being where we transcend the limitations of our coping mechanisms, where we're willing to put on the fire, so to speak, all of those things that have held us back, consciously or unconsciously, in this grand celestial portal event. It's a unique opportunity, okay? And I'm gonna be able to guide you in that because I've been practicing and working with this Ascension information for quite a long time now, and from that, the masters showed me the angelic code and they showed me how to give to humanity harmonic resonance healing, which is the integration of all these teachings into a living, breathing paradigm of information and activations and opening and solutions and technological information to show everybody who wants to know that actually it's a scientific psychic reality, this expansion of the human body, which the Hopi Indians talked about as heralding in the golden age, the golden age of enlightenment, okay? The golden age where we can move beyond the limitations of polarized thinking, the masculine qualities, the feminine qualities, so-called, and move into a new dynamic where we literally can explode positively our consciousness, activate neuronic pathways we previously didn't ex think were existent, and activate latent powers to heal ourselves, the situations around us, the environment, the planet, animals, all sorts of things that will benefit from an expansion in our personal energy and power. To do that, my dear friends, we have to be prepared to let go fully of those things that aren't working, to fully release and relinquish old patterns of behaviors, okay? And it's not always easy, but this particular gateway, this celestial gateway that's opening up with the Saturn and Jupiter conjunct that happens to be bang on the day of the winter solstice is a unique energetic opportunity for all of us to magnify our intention and to move consciously into a new paradigm of thinking, okay? To help you do this, for those that book tickets to the event, the, the link is below, send me your email and your name and a recent photograph and any information that you feel necessary on how you would like me to help you. Because what we're gonna do over the next two to three days before the event on Monday night is I'm gonna be working collectively with myself and other people to help shift those things from your field so that when it comes to the meditation on Monday, you'll be energetically souped up and prepared for a launch into a new vibration in your whole field of experience, a new way of thinking and an absolute release of attachments to people, places, outcomes and things. Attachments to the past and attachments to the future will also, you'll also have the opportunity to fully relinquish we call this taking ordeal X, okay? If you study the Kabbalah like I have for 30 years, we talk about it as taking a leap across the abyss from terrestrial cognitive thinking consciousness to extraterrestrial godhead, cosmic intelligence. That's what we talk about it. And to do that and to lay the path for that, you have to get prepared to release anything that's not working. And on Monday night, you have a unique opportunity to take this oath. Now, I know some of the people watching here have already taken this oath, have already made the commitment, but it, it's always good, it's always healthy to return. Return to the drawing board, return to your commitments, and return to living consciously, because we know we live in a world where there's lots and lots of distractions 
There's lots of lots of things that interfere with our good intention. And it takes discipline. It takes focus. It can take connectivity. It takes humility. It takes open heartedness to maintain momentum against a world that is doing its damnedest to disempower us. Now, I won't go into all that stuff because I think most of you know my views about it all. But essentially what I teach people is how to take personal responsibility for their own thoughts, their own thinking, their own feelings and their emotions. How to take personal responsibility and to move into a place of self-empowerment. To do that, we have to stop blaming others and say, OK, some of their bad things may have happened to us. Some bad things may have happened to others, but we're not going to be the victim. We're going to be the victor. And to do that, we have to move into conscious thinking and behaving because most of us, OK, most of us have built up patterns of ways of behaving and thinking that don't actually serve us to greater and lesser extent. And the self-development teachings that I bring forth, the transformational teachings of the Mary Magdalene to open the heart is all about us having the humility and the courage to move beyond the old ways of being, the old programs, the curses of the curse of Rome, as I sometimes call it, of subjugation, of exploitation, of disempowerment into a new paradigm of self-awareness, of conscious connection to the goddess, the infinite non-linear intelligence of the universe that permeates all things. The power of the goddess, deified as Mary Magdalene, Lady Nada, is the idea that this beautiful orange rayed energy is the glue, if you like, that bonds and unites us to this planet. OK, we need unity now. We need to unite to what's true, our higher self, our best self, our over self, our God self. We need to have support from those beings that are beyond the limitations of the corporal world. We require that if this planet is going to move away from destruction into a new place of healing and self-empowerment. So that's what I teach and that's what I'm encouraging you to do. If this resonates with you, if you're feeling this, if you like the sound of this, if you'd like help from me, please book your ticket. The link is below. Alternatively, you could also, if you choose, come and see me at my clinic in central London. I am here most days online and in person with many great machines uh, and teachings to help you, like therapy, right frequency, magnetex machine, um, tachyon, lots and lots of amazing stuff that I've used to help strengthen and fortify the personal energy field. That's what it's about, my friends. Getting back in the heart, taking responsibility. And on the 21st of December, you, my friends, have a unique opportunity to magnify your positive intention and to create a new way forward in your existence. And when you do that with love and humility and honesty, everything around you will change and all the people around you will be uplifted by your new energy. That's what I teach. And that's why I would love you, love you to join me on Monday night. The link's below, just click on it, or if you need any personal information, just PM me. Once you've bought your ticket, please email me your information, okay, what help you need, and we will get to work straight away. From London, central London, I'm sending you lots of love, healing, light, and good energy on this night. Take care, stay in the heart.